Hi there, Scorpio, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of March the 13th through to the 19th. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for the Scorps. First up, Nine of Swords reversed, followed then by Major Arcana the Hermit in the upright, followed then by Major Arcana the Fool upright. Next, we have the Knight of Swords in the upright. And lastly, we have Temperance in the upright. You have three major arcana in this reading. Scorpio could be an intense week, but I think Scorpio likes it that way. <laughs> Nine of Swords in the reverse position, indicating you will be feeling some kind of relief for anxiety. Now, if some of the Scorps have been going through Nine of Swords in the upright where you've had multiple things on your mind, it was disturbing your sleep, it was driving you crazy because you had thoughts and thoughts and thoughts and you couldn't stop it, overthinking situations, or it could be that you had nine solutions to one problem and you weren't sure which one you were going to execute, or you could have just had nine problems and you were trying to figure them all out. Well, when the card is inverted, this is where that comes to an end. So either the situation resolved itself or you found a way to resolve these problems and diffuse it. This is where you can finally get some rest or at least put these particular issues, problems and things that you've been overthinking to rest this week. That's good news. Right at the beginning of the week, we have the Virgo energy, the uh, hermit in the upright position. Well, this is about needing to do some kind of research or go within. It could be Scorpio, you're coming off the weekend, maybe you've been sort of hiding away and um, just doing your own thing. You could have been uh, doing research, you could have been having your head in the books, maybe some of you are studying because you have an exam coming up or things like that. But others of you have just been sort of looking and observing, and maybe that's how you're fixing the problem, is through observation. Maybe you're doing your research and you're figuring out how to fix this problem or these problems, whatever the situation is. But you need to sort of withdraw. You need to go within and be on your own to figure it out. Scorpio works best that way, just the same as Virgo does, um, to kind of go quiet in order to resolve your problems. Scorpio rarely works in a think tank to resolve problems. Scorpios tend to go within, do their own quiet contemplative research in order to figure things out and to solve uh, complications and problems. Next up is the Major Arcana, the Fool in the upright position. You're ready to take a chance again. You're ready to jump into something new. Um, it could be due to the fact that you're finally finished your research. Maybe some of you have been researching a new career or a new place to move to, and you have finally done, you're done with your research and you're ready to go. The Fool's energy, look at the beautiful yellow solar plexus activation. The Fool is ready to jump in. A little bit of risky energy only because it's like it's the unknown. So it could be some of the Scorpios are contemplating either, you know, dating somebody. They never dated somebody like that before in their life. Or it could be they're comp contemplating going somewhere or moving somewhere or working in a different field or a different career. They could be ready to launch, but... They've had to put in a lot of time and a lot of research before launching. But I think that when you do launch, uh, Scorpio, it's you're going to do so with great confidence. You're going to feel that you have the best of the information and the knowledge that you need, and you're ready to jump in and take a chance. So, interesting. Let me know how that goes in the comment section below. <laughs> Next card up is the Knight of Swords in the upright position. Well, it is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Now, it could be for some of you, there is somebody rushing into your life. The Knight of Swords is rushed out information, possibly, or even just a person that comes rushing in and catches you off guard a little bit. They could be bringing in information, but the, the, it could be information overload sometimes with the Knight of Swords. 
Uh, some of you could be receiving some important documents that you must sign or important information, especially if it's concerning any legal documents because the sword people can cover the legal field as well as the surgical world. So if you're having any surgery done or things like that, or even uh, if you're dealing with somebody in the military or police, this kind of thing. There could be news and information rushing in right away. It could be a new person for some of you who are um, single and looking. There could be somebody who just sort of rushes in. This could be somebody who's very talkative, uh, wants to offer you something. Usually knights bring in some kind of offer. So if it's on the romantic front, the Knight of Swords has uh, conversations to offer you. Well, Scorpios do like to get into lengthy and deep conversations. So this could be somebody who actually is a pretty good conversationalist. Just don't argue with them because they can be a little bit quick with their words and can it can represent a little bit of, uh, you know, combative energy so just be a little bit careful of that especially if it's somebody new coming in they they could be um, stimulating you in your mind in some way but also maybe aggravating you a little bit in the way that they're a little bit combative so but for others of you the knight of swords is bringing in some information it could be a contract Oftentimes, the Knight of Swords brings in some kind of verbal or written contract. So if you your, um, your new venture, whatever it is, if it's a business deal or something like that, this could be that you have to sign some contracts. Or if you know this new venture involves a home or something like that, you could be needing to sign contracts or signing, sign up some papers and stuff. Um, for others of you, yeah, it could just be perhaps if you've applied for jobs or applied for work or something like that. This could be a written uh, contract coming your way. But it's moving in fast. It just comes in. And this is towards the end of the week. It seems like after your contemplative phase and then your decision to jump ahead with something. And then it's like, boom, there it is. There's the, the contract. It's like right there. And the last card you have is... Sagittarius energy. This is temperance in the upright position. Temperance represents this very healing energy, so it's always welcomed. But temperance represents cooperation, and especially where other people are involved, right? So, say for example, if um, you know this is a new this new venture is say a new job, and you get a written contract, and you decide to sign on, and you move into that position. Well, it looks like this is going to be the right place for you because the temperance, especially in a career reading, this indicates we have found a job where we will be appreciated for what we do and we will be working with others that are like-minded, that are on the same page as us. So it's a card that represents mixing and blending and having everything work well. I call it my baker's card. So some of you uh, maybe are baking on the weekend. If so, Good job, Scorpio. <laughs> Looks like they'll turn out pretty good. Um, the Temperance card is just a really nice energy, especially if you have to. It is weekend energy. So in case, say, for example, you have to do a social function for work or something like that, or even for home and family, it seems like it's uh, you're going to be mixing and blending all the right elements to make it be it a success. So that's what I have for you, my dear Scorps. I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me, and uh, I hope the reading helped you. Have a great, great week, my Scorps. Bye-bye for now.